So, here we are to give you a quick run through of a few turns of how Steam Donkey plays. Uh, first of all, we'll explain what our uh, extra cards do before we actually take our first turns. Okay, so this is the advanced game. So I've got to start off with uh, the castle, which allows me to have four extra cards at the beginning of the game. So I've got 12 cards in my hand. And I've also got the Princess Royal. Princess Royal allows me to build cards in my resort for one card less than the normal value. And I've got the mechanical dog, and that allows me to draft three extra cards to the railway station if I want to in a turn. So that's coming from here, an extra three cards here, and I've also got Donkey Boy, very helpful, Help, lets me take the top discard. I've got the feral donkey, uh, which allows me in my building phase to um, use a, a donkey card as a, a wild card, so any other card when I'm building. Uh, I've also got Madame Ice Cream, uh, and she allows me to bring visitors from uh, the railway station to two different areas in my resort, whereas normally I'd only be able to do it to one. So, first Okay, turn. so we're going to begin. So I've got the Princess Royal, so I untap her first of all, and twist her. And I can get off to a racing start because I've got 12 cards, plenty to go at. One card less than is normally needed, so I can play that donkey. It would normally cost me one uh, card to play that amusement, but I don't need to play it because it's only costing one, one less. I'm then going to play the same area in the town, the salmon coloured. Normally cost me three cards to play that at the same time. Uh, but because of the Prince's Royal, I need to use two cards. So there are two cards for that. I can't build anything else extra though in the town at the moment, so that's the end of my turn. I twist that to finish it. Right, well I'm going to build this one, which is on the beach. And that's the... Monument? That's a monument. And it's right by the beach and I need to play three cards to the discard pile. And I can also play one donkey, also at the beach, and that goes to the discard pile. Yeah, you can only build in one area at a time normally. Um, I can't get off to quite... Do you want to use your donkey boy? That's picking up the one that I've just put down. Um, no, I don't think I use donkey boy. Okay, so time. donkey boy remains... Uh, untwisted, so somebody else could take Donkey Boy if they so wish. That means I could take Donkey Boy and swap it with Madame Ice Cream. Um, and actually, that might be quite good for me because um, uh, I'm not going to be moving anybody from the railway station into my resort because I haven't got a resort at the moment. So I think I will swap it with Donkey Boy, which allows me to take a discard, top discard. Um, and I can, I can do that right now. So I'll take that. Tap the Donkey Boy to show I've used him. Uh, I'm going to... Um, play this donkey amusement into um, my beach area. It takes one donkey to uh, discard. I'll discard that one, which is another donkey. Uh, and it allows me, when it's my next turn, to bring at least three visitors from the railway station to my resort. That's the end of my go. Steve, it's rattling along. Right, back to me. Well, I untwist Princess Royal first of all, to see if I can use it. Actually, I don't have that many things I can do with this hand. Uh, so although I've got quite a few cards, I'm going to be starting collecting. Ooh, there's only one salmon card there, I'll have to take it. So I'm going to put that one onto my town there. I could collect two cards on there and three cards on there, but it must be that salmon colour. So the visitors, that gets replenished to there. Right, well, I'm going to start collecting this turn because I've only got two cards left. and. Generally, it's a good idea to take from the top of the deck first because you never know what's underneath. So I'll take one of those to there. Unfortunately, no more yellow cards, but I can take a yellow card from there. I can take two on this donkey, so I'll take that one as well. Carol had a choice uh, because there are various different icons on these cards. She's taken a donkey, uh, a transport and um, a lodgings card. Um, that's the end of her go. So we refill the railway station. Um, right, only one yellow for me as well. Um, but I've still got Donkey Boy, which allows me to take um, 
the top discard and I'll do that, which is a, uh, that can go straight into my hand and I'll take this yellow card onto here um, and unfortunately that's the end of that one so refill and round we go. Okay well I'm going to, I guess I'll risk of that salmon one there at the top again so let's hope there's another one underneath. It is! Fantastic! So I'll keep on going. Oh, that's it. So that's better than what it could have been. Very green, ecologically sound mm. visitors at the moment. We need to get our parks built. Yeah, definitely. Right, this time I'm going to pick my cards up from here into my hand. When you do that, you have to take them all at once. You can't just pick and choose which ones you take. But that's, that's all of Carol's go. She can only take to her hand. So my go, I'm stuck. So I'm going to build a park area. Uh, with an amusement, requires two donkey cards. There we go, and so hopefully next time I'll be able to better placed to um, take visitors into my resort. I'm not going to use Donkey Boy. Right. I've got to collect mine, so I collect up those three cards, and that's into my go. Back to Carol. Well, I'm a bit stuck here at the moment. Um, I can't do anything with the cards I've got. You can do the mechanical dog. I can do the mechanical dog, absolutely. And I probably should have done it last go as well. <laughs> but there's, they're all still green. Ah, at last, a yellow one. Right, so we'll take that one from there and that one to there. Okay. Right, well I uh, now am going to take some. I'm going to take some monuments. I'm, I'm going to ignore the top one because I want these. Um, oh, sorry, I want these um, lodgings. That's my go. Now, because we drafted some extra ones in, we don't take any more off the top. It it goes back to its maximum uh, minimum of four. Now, good news is I've still got the Princess Royal. So I'm going to twist that, and I only pay half price. Well, I've got trying to get these green ones out. So that requires just three uh, three cards normally, but reduced down to two. There's two. And uh, mm, I can do this one. This is a special card. Uh, it would normally require four transports uh, to buy that one. But in this case, I only need three because of Princess Royal. So there we go. Two more cards built, and that has to be built in the park, matching the same area. No. Can you tell me, how do I get to change this card to use one of the ones that you've got? Well, you can't use mine because mine's twisted. But right. You could use Gary's because his Donkey is untwisted. Right, I think that might be a good idea. Might it? Though? So I have to swap that with you. And I can take the top discard straight into my hand. Yes. By tapping Donkey Boy? By tapping Donkey Boy. I, I can then pick these ones yes, up? Yes, you could, yes. If you can't get anything else. Yeah, no. But I can't play them this in a much better go. position to build next hand. You may notice that Donkey Boy has always worked for him. Any single turn you can always use Donkey Boy. Right. Um, these are virtually full, so I'm going to take them up into my hand for my go. Well, I'm going to be collecting on these now. So those track monuments would be good. So one. Oh, there's another special card. The multicoloured. I can't resist that. Two. Let's take another monument off the top. Three. Oh, they're all monuments. And this one, the transport card, is a different way of working. I can take one card straight into my hand from anywhere except from the discard. So I will take... Oh, it's got a monument. There we go. Carol, over to you. Right. Carol's thinking of building. Still, I'm thinking of building. Princess Royal is now untwisted if you're building, by the way. If you wanted to help your building effort. Ah, oh, that means one less, doesn't it, yes. that I need. So I can swap her. Good. With that one. So, one less. So that, that's very helpful because that means I can play that one 
And instead of needing three cards for it, I can pay two. They don't have to be the same colour, but they just have to be transport cards. They just happen to be the same colour. Yeah. And I've got a donkey oh, for the oh, park. We can't oh, no. the green. I I've got to stay in the park oh, area. Um, only. That's area. because I, I previously I could have done with the other cards that I'd. Oh, but you can't use both. You can only use one. I'll stay in the beach area then. Okay. And build. Ooh. Excellent. That one. So just one. Very good. Very nice. Okay. So well, Carol's then... got the beach area, all four cards she needs. If she needs to put some more down there, she can stack on top and then use the top card instead. Because the end point of the game is when someone has filled all three areas with all four cards, um, and that was, will signal the end of the game. It is limited, however, because it means I can't at the moment collect any cards except the yellow ones. Now, because we're big on green out there, I'm going to lay um, some green lodgings. So that takes um, three. Um, now, you used the Princess Royal, so you tapped it, so I can't swap for it, so I can't use any aid. I've just got to use um, three extra monument cards, uh, and uh, that's the end of my go. Okay, well I'm going to take now Madame Ice Cream, mm. because she allows me to collect in two areas. Well, unfortunately the green is one, this one is full, but I will be able to use my transport from the green area as well as collecting here. So here's hoping that something good is in there. Oh, that's okay. Not bad. That can go straight onto there. It's all working well. One. Mm. <laughs> Very well. And I can still collect one from here, so I'll take this one from straight to my hand. And it's another one. Look at that. A perfect girl. Can't get much better than that. No. Yeah, you're a bit stuck, Carol. No yellow cards. I am a bit stuck, but I'm going to put place down again. I've still got the Princess Royal, so yeah, I can still now. do one less. So this time, it's going to be the town. Is that right? No, but I use the town in the middle. The town in the middle, and there's the one card I need for that. I've only got one card left. Okay. Um, well, everybody's tapped, so Donkey Ball won't allow me to take the discard, uh, which I will do, uh, and I will now collect green cards into my area because I, that's the way I was hoping to be able to do it. We'll store three on this and two on this. That's not bad. I should have plenty of cards ready for next time. Right, now here's a slightly different bit of play you've got to uh, account for. I can hold a maximum of 12 cards. Uh, but as you see, I've got eight cards here ready to collect up. That's two more than I can actually accommodate. So this is what happens in this instance. You look through your cards and you decide which two you are not going to bother collecting. So I'm going to But not lose. looking at the front You of can't the look at the front, that's right. Those two simply go into the railway station as well. And I collect instead the other six. Oh. Now that's untapped. I could have taken... No, I don't really want Donkey Boy because I can't take another card. So it says like that. That's... That collects two areas. That collects, I'm going to swap with you to collect the two areas now. I'm going to take one from there. That's disappointing. That's the only one of those. Um, but I will also take one from there. Yes. That's the orange cards. And unfortunately, only you were one hoping to yellow. Get the yellow one here, weren't you? I was hoping to get a yellow one there. On the cards, you've, as well, you've got the points value at the end of the game. Um, so the higher the value of the cards, like this one's worth five points at Carol's, and this one's four points. So she's got some good point scoring game uh, cards down at the moment. I don't think I've been using the mechanical dog to its full effect either, but well, it does benefit. It does also benefit everybody, not just me, if I don't use them. Very true. I'm going to take these to my hand, and I'm also going to use the donkey boy to take that back into my hand. Okay. It goes over. So, I'm going to use Princess Royal, I'm going to play one railway, I'll transport there, for two instead of three, and I'm also going to build then a the best monument I possibly can in the 
town area, which is going to be that one. That's worth seven points, and that uh, railway was worth four. Uh, so that's going to cost me three monuments to build it. I've got loads of monuments here. Uh, oh, that's a good one. I'm trying to calculate which cards I'm going to use later on now so that I'm ready for a few turns time to build monuments elsewhere. So I'm careful to throw away whatever I want. I, I can put those in a set order as well on the discard pile if I want to scupper Carol a little bit, but uh, I'm concentrating on my own resort at the moment, Carol. Jolly good. Well, I'm going to... I, I really need to get more... Um, cards if I can from the more people from the railway station so I am going to use my mechanical dog but it doesn't look as though mm. I'm very lucky with that unfortunately so I'm not but so one yellow card there, I can can I still pick these up into my hand uh, having done that that's, that's, good question. I think, that's that I think no no you've got to once you do that it's only when you collect cards only when you're moving cards can you do that you can't now collect those to your hand I haven't put them out this turn, they were there before. No, yeah, but when you do this, it's always when you have to move things, you can't. Otherwise oh, you could right. seed the railway station over and over again in the game, couldn't you? So it's only on your turn. Right, so I However, can't not actually do anything this Yes, you turn. can, because you move that to there, and you've still got your train, so you never know, there might be a whole pile of yellows in there just waiting for you. There is not. You can take that to your hand. Yeah, in the train. Oh. Oh, there's another yellow. Excellent. There's another yellow. Oh, and there's another there. yellow. There's a whole. You'd think we'd fix this. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? But we haven't. There we go. Okay. That wasn't too bad, wasn't it? It's pretty it. good. Um, I'm getting quite a lot of cards, um, and there's only one real green one there. Uh, I'm not going to use Donkey Boy, I don't think. Uh, I'm going to uh, build uh, some monuments in the tower area. I need to throw away two, so that's that. Uh, I'm also going to put uh, a donkey down, which doesn't take any cards to play it, because it's not worth any points, but it does allow me to get three visitors cards to the um, the area uh, on my go. You haven't used your feral donkey yet, have you? I haven't. I completely forgotten about the feral donkey. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, Carol, it's been very good you filling up the railway station because yes, I, know. I am the man for the town cars. This is, this is what I was saying about it being very beneficial to other people, so it needs to be used sparingly. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't needed to use the feral donkey, to be honest, because I've, I've been able to do what I wanted to do without any problem. Yeah. I feel much happier now, Derry, that that's the case. Um, well, it doesn't really matter about taking that one. That's checked in my hand. And, um, yes, I'll leave that untapped. So, refill the rubber station. I'm picking up my cards. Okay. Well, quite a mixed bag. Uh, I think I'd better get um, Princess Roll. Uh, oh, no. Man of Ice Cream. Man of Ice Cream. Yeah. Allow me to bring visitors to two different areas of my resort. So, I'm going to start off taking this yellow one. So reveal that. So there's now two of those and two of those. Uh, but I do need some transport. So I'm going to go that first. Let's put another yellow so I can bring that into here because I can do it into two areas. That's full now. Um, I'm lucky enough that this is still going. But that's as far as I go. Not bad. Yeah, that's Not bad at all. Right, I've got uh, six cards, so I can pick up these six cards, and that's all I should be doing. So, Carol, over to you. Right. Well, I'm going to put the donkey down in the park area. And that's a big donkey, too. And that is a big five donkey. Five points. And it's five points, and it gets rid of all those three cards. And one tactic, of course, is to not use Donkey Boy, for instance, um, so that then uh, you will be able to um, it will be able to be swapped with somebody else's. Um, yes. So you could make it a sort of little tantalising uh, 
tidbit for somebody um, if it won't that. particularly benefit you to use it. Uh, and another issue is that um, if I want to, this is worth this donkey here is worth two points at the end. If I get a better donkey, I can build on top of that one, uh, and I will score for the value of both of them at the end. So you don't have to just have one card in each area. You can have stacked areas. Obviously, that will take you longer to fill up the entire town, but that's uh, still a, a tactic that has proven quite valuable. Uh, I've got six here. I've got six down here. Um, so I'm taking them all into my hand. I'm going to play... I really don't... I'll just play. So I'm going to do the stacking to build this, the Grand Hotel, which was seven points. It's a super card, and one less card to build it. I would have liked to have done a little bit more than that, but I don't quite have the card mix for it, so there you go. You can't do everything. So I'll get rid of that one. One, two, three. Now, are there any no. rules that we haven't sort of explained? I think, I think we're more or less there, aren't we, in terms of explaining? We haven't explained that there's a Lord Admiral, it's another card, and he, on the reverse of his, is the bank, and the Lord Admiral allows you to build in two areas. So, Madam Ice Cream, you collect in two areas. With the bank, uh, with the Lord Admiral, sorry, you you can build in two areas, which can be very useful. I'd like to do that just now. And if we were playing with four players, then all these special cards would all be in. Like that. Yeah. And on the reverse of that is the bank, which allows you to hold as many as 15 cards, which can be terrific for having a real uh, massive building session at one point. Uh, the game ends, as Gary says, when all one person's finished, uh, filled up all the spaces, all 12. If there's any space free, that will be worth minus two points for each person's resort. And then you add up all the cards, including stacked cards, to give you a final total. Very simple way of scoring. It scores about 30 to 40 mark, uh, points usually in the game. I think that's probably enough. And we can answer questions via the uh, site, uh, the Kickstarter page. Um, and do feel free to get in touch with us about any queries you've got. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.